for our protesters and the employment of the law and also for giving us the opportunity to meet on our feet, to learn from him. We welcome everybody here, especially our pastors, ministers who are in our midst, our church leaders, leaders of the previous group, and the Thai membership. We turn together for the Lord for making us safe. And with a very big round of applause, we are welcoming our guest, First Minister, the person of Pastor Jesse Mans. We turn together for the Lord for making us safe. We are most welcome. And the last one goes to our papa of the house. Our special father, the founder and the leader of the Lord of God Jesus, put the hand together for our father. And the first one is the Lord of God Jesus. It is a privilege to meet together on that history. It is said, those who stay, who stay at the feet of Christ Enjoy the stories that falls from the city. So this morning we are going to enjoy the stories because we are coming on that city. The Lord is going to bless us, is going to equip us, is going to anoint us in a different way through His self. And we thank the Lord. For such a place, for such an opportunity, people travel afar to enjoy this place. But we, we are blessed that we are here. The Lord has brought the man of God from far away to be to come and bless us. We put our hands together for the Lord. We are very, very grateful for such an opportunity, and we should take this for granted. We should. Allow this chance to slip by. The Bible says we should take it to show ourselves a good on the board. So in the time, Jesus said that we taught of whatever he taught us. So we are here to learn from the Lord through his self, the man of God. And I'm happy those who came yesterday enjoyed themselves and we are going to enjoy today too. We are happy to be here today. We are very 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 happy to be here today. And the Lord will continue to do so many things through this program. So we are not free. Avail yourself for the Lord to bless you. Because the Lord is speaking from available people. Not those who put the hand on it. The Lord is seeking for those who will avail themselves to be used by the Lord. So it is time for us to avail ourselves for the Lord to prepare us so that He can use us at the right time to glorify His name. Hallelujah. So that we should not let time as we have been told before. This is Pastor's Leaders and Headquarters Conference. It's a conference. It's a time of receiving from the Lord. We are going to see so many things, so many impartations, so many things will be a provision to all of us. So prepare yourself, prepare your mind. Forget about the past. We are all about our past. We should allow our past to intimidate us. God has something special for us ahead. So we should chase to see what is ahead of us. And the Lord is prepared to do that to his servant today. So today, conference time. And we are happy to have our main speaker, the lecturer, the man of God, the servant of God, who has traveled far away from the United Kingdom, precisely Manchester City, to Ghana. And no better than the love of God who ministries that come and go to pay for two hundred together. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing.
ourselves before you today. And dear God, we can do nothing in our own strength. We can do nothing in the flesh. Dear God, we need you. Dear God, we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, bless us today. Fill us afresh today. Pour out your Holy Spirit today for your people. Open our eyes as we look at your word and teach us, O oh God. And Lord, we pray that this house may be a house that continues to serve you, Lord. Father, we thank you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, Lord, we pray, come and bless us for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's just be silent just for one minute. And, and just pray quietly. And ask the Lord to speak to you today. And be ready to receive from the Lord. Let's just be quiet for one minute. So, being fruitful in gospel 
gospel ministry. Christ always brings life. If you turn to John chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. All things were made by him, and without him was nothing made that was made. And then verse 4, verses number 4, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Amen. Then verse 5, verse 5, and the light shined in darkness, and the darkness compared its own. So, so there, in those verses, Christ made the universe. Christ is life, and Christ is light. I said that Jesus said your father, as I saw your hand. So if you're going to bear fruit in ministry, if you're in the vine, if you're in Christ, say, oh, Jesus, more. Life will flow out of you. I said, I'm going to go out. Life will flow out of you. Because he's the source of life. He's the source of life. It's not rocket science. You can look at uh, John, we won't, we won't read this, but if you look at John chapter 4, verse 13 to 14, he says, if anyone's thirsty, come. He says in John chapter 6, verse 5 and 13, he is the bread of life. So, in ministry, hundreds of ministers are looking for the new king. They're looking for the new way. Come to our church. We've got a new way, a new king. Maybe someone played the drums on the head. But they think they've got a new way of looking at it. But there's only one way to bear fruit in this. It's the faith of Christ. Faith of Him. Now, bearing fruit in gospel ministry. I said this last night, but I'm going to say it again. Is that if you're going to bear fruit, God wants you to be intimate with Him. God wants you to be intimate with Him. Close to Him. You've got a friend. You want to spend time with Him. Go to the coffee shop. Go to the coffee shop. And chat. And talk. And spend time with them. If you look at John chapter 3, verse 1 to 3, we won't read it, we won't read it, but if you look at it, the Lord goes to Nicodemus. And spends time with Nicodemus. Tells Nicodemus he needs to be born again. Then if you look at John chapter 4, verse 9 to 13, the Lord spends time with the Samaritan woman. He sits in a well and talks to her. And if you were to read John chapter 5, Verse 1 to 15, the guy is a can't walk and the Lord spends time with the man at the pool. I said, we now on this subscribe this is the Then we used to read John chapter 8, verse 1 to 11. So we read chapter 8, verse 1 to 11. The woman called in adultery. The Lord spends time. Jesus Christ in the middle of the Talks to them. And if you were to read John chapter 11, verse 17 to 25, the Lord spent time with Mary and Martha. And if you were to read John chapter 21, verse 18 to 17, the Lord spent time with Peter. 
so please, uh, you can get a new man away, but I you go feed my sheep. Peter, you can get a new man away, but I you go my sheep. It says, 
If the world hates you, you know that it hates me before it hates you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, when I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than the Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, if you have if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. We'll just leave, we'll leave it there. If you read it, if you read it. Just read from verse, verse uh, 18 to... Uh,